Hi, James, your host from Vintage Bricks. We're looking at a obviously vintage set from 1979, the Space Cruiser or the Galactic Explorer. Morning as we take a close look at this set. I know that flyby was pretty exciting, but let's just take a little slower rotation of the Space Cruiser here. And one thing you notice right away is the size of this is that's a 10 by 10 inch moon landing plate and it extends over the edge. So now I'm going to show you a couple pictures of the box here, which as usual is beautiful. And I am going to give a quick thought of what I think maybe Lego developers uh, thought of uh, as inspiration. Here's me in 1984. I was in the Air Force and we had the F 15s. I was at an Air Tactical Command base. And this set looked a whole lot like, here it comes, it looks like, like the F-15 Eagle, which was released about 1976. So, there you go. That's my thought. I think Lego used that as their inspiration. But, just a guess. Okay, now we're going to talk about the cool things about this build, and there are a bunch. Yeah, so if you make it to the end of the video, I have a teaser of how the Space Cruiser and the Yellow Castle fit together. Let's put the set together. And you can see how the sea of gray pieces turns into the magical space cruiser and moon base. So let's tackle the moon base uh, first. And we had a nice control center. These sets, you know, needed somebody to push the buttons to make sure that the cruiser knew where to land. Here it is. And I got a little close up of the inside there. They all were very technical, high tech thing for the 70s. Okay, let's put the top on there. And then we have our uh, radar dish, or as I like to think of it, laser beam to shoot down alien. And then we have this antenna. Isn't that interesting? You know, these sets in 1979 had to share parts with the town and city sets. So that's the, they were, you know, utilitarian. Okay, there we go for the moon base part. Now for the all-important minifigure view. Now the one thing I want to point out on these early sets is that those moons on their chests, which are iconic, uh, wear off really easily with play. And so you'll see when you buy these sets, they keep talking about the percentage gold. The higher the percentage, the nicer the minifigure. It's, it should be. Okay, so now we're going to do the main build. Here's the base. Here's our cruiser on the base here. It is so gray underneath. There's three main rockets there. And this is a really kind of an interesting way to use these flat plates. And the instruction manual, you know, is all gray too. So we gotta love the gray if you get this set, but the blue and yellow contrast really make it. So I've taken apart the cockpit a little bit and these translucent yellow, I think are gorgeous. Now, you gotta laugh here, look at that, it's a steering wheel. Okay, but yeah, but remember, they were sharing uh, pieces with the uh, town and city sets. The LL here on the right means Legoland 928. All these uh, space sets had printed bricks. As far as I can tell, no, there is, there is no stickers. I mean, I know that, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm rotating this a little bit. Let's go ahead and finish the cockpit. And there, you know, gotta, you know, going out of space, you can't just have it open like that. These yellow visors, uh, windshields, very nice. And then we're going to put a little dome, or not really a dome, it's, it's more of a flat piece that uh, I think is unique just to the space sets. That's a, that's a really cool piece. And there's our little, our little spaceman, and they're driving the steering wheel. You know, he knew how to do that well. Now we have a, a couple more rockets to place on the on the front here to really spiff the thing up. This must thing, this must have been really fast. I like my F-15 example. And those struts uh, are pretty pretty typical of these sets. And look at that, that fits right on there. I need one more. I'm gonna kind of throw those on there. Obviously I've sped the video up here, but can kind I of get those on? Okay, so there it is with our are two rockets in the front, a couple antennas. Now we're spinning around back. This is really interesting. They had a loading port here. Look at that. You can just drive it right in. So when you land, you can take your, um, your rover out and go across the moon or Mars, wherever you're at. And I did it twice there just to show you how cool that is. And you can swing it back. And um, you're, you're good to explore whatever galaxy far, far away you might be. So here it is. And there's the build. Now for all you castle fans, uh, I'm... Did a little segment on the backstory of how this fits in. 
that this is the Yellow Castle, set 375 from 1978. Why am I showing you this? Because this set was made just about the same time as a space cruiser, and they are both considered the flagship sets of their themes. So this is the flagship of the castle, started it all off. And this was the flagship of the space theme. Well, in the catalog 6000 from 1980, it clearly shows that Lego intended the spacemen and the castle folks to play nice together. They were friends, they visited. So if you have both these themes of set, you know, join them together and have a fun time. Wow, joining those sets together does sound pretty exciting. Maybe we'll do that. Anyway, thank you for coming to visit me on Vintage Bricks and hope you hope you have the set and hope you enjoyed the video. And if you get a chance, please subscribe. And we'll be seeing you uh, next Friday. I'm trying to release these every Friday morning. So see you then. Bye.